You and I have both seen it. In a game like Overwatch, there are a ton of ways to ruin it all for your team. Sometimes you get those boosted scrubs and sometimes you get those angry screamers, but every once in a while, or maybe more often than not, you're that thrower. Today we're going to talk about the seven ways that you might be throwing games and how to fix it. My name is Nate and welcome to Blizzard Guides. All right, all right, you're not actually throwing all of your games, that's just some clickbait. So if you're here to leave a comment about how you're not actually a thrower, I hate to break it to you, but you're really the fool here. But there is a lot of things that you could be doing to pick up those games that are quote unquote unwinnable games. Having climbed from the depths of lower bronze all the way to the underwhelming heights of GM, I've done my time and I've come across quite a few mistakes that those of you from Diamond and below almost definitely don't realize that you're doing. If you're stuck and can't climb, this video is for you. We're gonna get started in no particular order. At number seven, you just care too much. If there's anything I want you to take home from this video, it's that you gotta realize that your teammates don't care. Even if it's called competitive, that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone is trying. You've got those dudes that are in the middle of eating their pizza pie, and they're all busy cleaning the sauce off their fingers, you've got that one guy who goes AFK to take his dog out, and you've got one guy who's more concerned with your healer's decision to pick Mercy, because I said in the video a few weeks ago that Anna is better on average in this meta, so he's busy typing an essay and spawn about how boosted the Mercy player is while his team dies without a main tank. If you've got people trying, that's good, but don't always expect that your teammates are going to do everything for you. Sometimes you gotta stick up, do your thing, try your best, and if it doesn't work, go again. You can't expect to always run the meta, you can't expect to always have people with clean comms and voice, and you can't always expect people to be trying as hard as you. So at number six, how do you fix this problem? Well, first off, you can organize your team. This is great if you're a tank or support player, but still works if you're on DPS. Just be the carry by hopping in voice and giving orders. If you're not doing this, you're not going to be picking up on games that you could be winning. So while you're not intentionally throwing, you definitely could be winning. Be firm on your decisions, evaluate your resources, and make those people that are on the fence about trying, try their best. This is honestly the best way to fix this issue. I mean, in my opinion, back when I was a support main, that was honestly the only reason I was able to climb, since I was kinda trash at the heroes I used to play. If you get your teams to push specific areas, use specific ults, focus specific enemies, you'll more often than not get the real experience of a good game, instead of just weird trash that you get today. Be the catalyst that makes your teams hyped to play, and you'll end up having a lot better time climbing than you might expect. It's all about that PMA game. So after that, at number five, I'm pulling some Art of War by, I'm sorry if I pronounced his name wrong, Sun Tzu advice, so this stuff is no joke. I'm paraphrasing and expanding a lot so it makes sense, but the general meaning stays. If you understand what's going on with you and your enemy team, even if you lose a team fight, you'll know how to come back from that loss and use your ults and abilities to counter the resources that the enemy has. If you don't know what the enemy has at their disposal or their strengths and weaknesses and only know yourself, you won't know how to counter them and win the fight, and if you don't know how to use your team's resources nor what the enemy has, you'll never really win a fight since you don't really know how to use what you have well. Please, pay attention to what you have and where you're successful. Don't fight in close quarters when you have a comp based on range, and pay attention to what the enemy is using and fight where they're going to be at their weakest. This is something that every single player that is in top 500 and pro understands, and if they didn't, I assure you that they would never really have the chops to make it to where they are today. So after that, at number four, changing gears a bit and talking more about mechanics and individual stuff, you gotta warm up. Even if you're a tank player, please warm up. I really shouldn't have to say this, but way too many of you guys don't warm up, even if it's just one game of FFA, quick play, or 1v1s. Just play a simple game until you feel like you're doing well, and instead of losing your first three games, you'll start off winning way more often. I lost my spreadsheet, but I used to log my win rate if I warmed up versus if I didn't. I would usually have a 10 to 20% or usually even more increase if I warmed up every time that week. Warm up. That's all I have to say. I have a good video for warm-up routines that I'll put in the top right corner if you want to go watch that. So after that, at number three, you're going into fights without an escape plan. My guy, please stop diving into the enemy team if you don't have a way to get out. If you're not thinking about how you're going to escape when you're making a play, you're throwing. No exceptions. The reason that pros can get away with making huge risky plays is because they know how to fix stuff if everything goes wrong. When you don't think about how you're going to escape, you end up feeding and throwing. No matter what, consider your escape options and always be ready to bail. And on top of that, I do wanna mention, if you see a teammate going for a risky play, always be available to be their escape option. If you see that they're maybe stuck out or they need some help, be ready to peel and be ready to save their lives and, and protect them with the abilities that you have. You can also be that escape plan. Just consider that as well. 
After that, at number two, you're mentally inflexible. What I'm saying is that you just need to stop sticking to a strategy if it's obviously not working. This one's for that guy that I was talking about in the beginning of the video who was complaining about the Mercy player. If this tip doesn't apply to you, that's fine, but I'm putting it in for the slight chance that I get the attention of that one guy. You don't have to run one hero, one strategy, one route. Be adventurous. Try some new stuff. Try some new strats. I'm not saying try Widowmaker even though you're a Rhine main. I'm more saying if you're a Rhine main, instead of going for a big six man slam and getting your team to break the enemy Rhine shield, try and go for a quick flank and shatter supports in the back line. Just try stuff that you normally wouldn't do. The worst thing that you can do in Overwatch is stick to the same strategy if it doesn't work and become predictable. At the end of the day, a loss because of a new strategy, you know, isn't really a big deal since you'll learn that that doesn't work and not to make that mistake twice. So experiment a bit when you're in your games and you'll find that you're going to be a much smarter player and you'll be much more efficient with the way that you make plays. So finally, last but not least, you're just not picking up for Pizza Pie Guy and being the player that your team needs. Let's say that your healers are being bots and not doing much and letting you die and you're playing DPS. Just switch to a third healer, pocket your best player and try to pick up for that bad support or play a bit safer and understand that you're not going to get much heals and, and play from a long range or switch to a DPS with more range. If you're a tank and your DPS sucks, switch to something that's a bit more higher damage in the tank category and try to help out with damage. If you're a support for example and your tanks are bad, you can always pump more heals into them or pocket your DPS so that they don't even need tanks to get kills. You do not have to switch and swap roles all the time to pick up for your team. You can just compensate for your lack in a certain area by pumping resources into the good part of your team instead of the bad part of your team. It's a bit difficult to understand and a more difficult to explain, so hopefully you guys did understand that, but once it clicks for you, you're almost certainly going to climb an entire rank from this one piece of advice alone. Unless, you know, you're already GM, which in that case, I'm sorry, nobody gets the rank of Big Man Jeff. I mean, GM is pretty much where you're going to be, unless I guess if you consider Top 5 in a different role, I, I don't know. Anyway, though, this this is definitely a very important piece of advice to understand. So maybe rewatch and, and try and understand. <laughs> But anyway, that's been today's video. I'm thinking about doing a VOD review series a bit different than I've ever seen done before. So if that's something that you're interested in and you'd be willing to send me a video of a recent comp game, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys have a good response to it in one of the upcoming videos, maybe I'll have an official announcement and start accepting VODs. If you think that VOD reviews or stuff like that is boring, voice your opinion on it too. I want to hear why. If you guys like this video, drop a like on it. And if you guys want to see more content just like this, get subscribed to the channel so that you never miss an upload. You can also follow us on Twitter Twitter, Instagram, and Discord if you want to be a part of the Blizzard Guides community too. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a nice day. My name is Nate, and this was Blizzard Guides.